Hello guys, today I will show you how to save operations in make integromate formally. So my scenario is that I want to get uh, actually filter the results from my SQL database and put it on the Google Sheet. So according to my requirements, uh, I have to get all of the uh, all of the result from my SQL database. So this will give us the limit option. If we put a limit, it will give us the certain results back. Maximum result, uh, if I put it here 100, it will give us the maximum of 100 results. So if I remove the limit, it will give us all the results coming from my SQL database and it will give us the options uh, to pass it to a, a Google Sheet. So now I want to do is that I want to pass uh, each data coming from uh, the my SQL database to Google Sheet. So I have uh, having an issue because if I pass each of my record coming from uh, my SQL to a Google Sheet and uh, use an option to insert a row, add row, it will cost me if there is hundred if there is hundred rows coming from my SQL, then it cost me hundred operation. So my goal is to save operation uh, in the integromate. Um, to make sure that um, if I have multiple records in the future, may I, I, I may have 1000 records in the queue in, in my database. So it, in that case, it will uh, take my 1000 operation and which will be costly from uh, make uh, to me. So I have found a solution is that uh, we will do in uh, all of the operations in a let's suppose I have 1000 uh, on database records I have 1000 uh, and plus records I will pause all of them into a single uh, or single action and it will take only one operation uh, to all send all the data to a Google Sheet this is my sheet okay I have made a test with you I have 373 records and then all is going to into a Google Sheet in a single action. So right now, uh, if I don't have this action, it will take one action, it will take one, uh, one module uh, here and there's two modules and there's the fourth one. Right now it takes only the four operation, one, two, three and four. So if I, if I don't pass data in uh, Google Sheet API, using API it will take one two three and then it will take as much time uh, as much uh, the rows are coming from my database so what I have done is that I have uh, done it using the Google Sheet API uh, which is the batch update so it will update uh, it will update the data in the bulk if you pass in the JSON so what I have do that I have done is I have first of all I'm clearing the sheet and then getting the rows from my SQL and uh, let me show you that if I set it here uh, and if I run this module it will give me the 10 records but I don't want to uh, you see that there is 10 record and but I don't want to use 10 operation to send to a Google Sheet so each time I will run it will make me as much operations as my as much data I have in my Google Sheet so that will be the expensive to me. So what I have done is that I will call the Google Sheet API and aggregate JSON and pass the data to a Google Sheet in a JSON format. So if I have uh, like 100 rows, I will aggregate into a JSON and pass it into a Google Sheet API and it will take only one operation and send data to a Google Sheet. So what I have done is that I have put up aggregator. First of all, I will show you how what I have done in the Google Sheet API. So this is the uh, how this API work is that you will uh, you have to uh, put form uh, put the path after this v4 spreadsheet. This is the spreadsheet where I want to put data, which is this one. Okay, you can see this is the spreadsheet ID. You can get it from here as well. And uh, this is the values. Value needs value. Values mean I have to put a format how many columns I have to get uh, maximum. So. Yeah, I have put values A to Z. That's mean that it can put up to A to Z columns. Uh, so if I have uh, values coming uh, uh, more than A to Z column, let's suppose it uh, move to uh, above Z, A to Z. 
then uh, let's suppose move to double A, then it will not put that column value. It will only uh, uh, put into A to Z. Uh, here is A, and it can put up to Z in these columns here. So now what I have done is that uh, this is a put request. Actually, this is a batch update request. It will always update. So uh, what I have to do is that then I have value option is user enter. If I have sub value option is user enter there, I can pass any value that is coming from um, that uh, that I can pass in the JSON. It can be any value. So so values this is the uh, after the values uh, this is the array and uh, in each array uh, actually this is the array this is the first and this is the brackets of the array scale brackets in, in under these you can put all of the uh, record in the uh, uh, array format this is the a value this is a column value b column c column d e and so on okay so it's separated by a comma so uh, each each uh, each square bracket under this square bracket means this is the one row okay so this is the one row so every time this is actually basically every time when this api calls it updates uh, it start from the first row and put all the records so first row is always the same so first row is always these columns so i have uh, every time it will remove these values and update uh, again so i need the uh, column names so i have fixed the first value then after it um, i have uh, there is a now i i need a, a aggregation of the data coming from the uh, my sql database so this is this will be the dynamic process i need i need result in this format actually id ID is under ID, game is under games, and phone under phone column have the phone value and stock have the stock. So I need data in this format, but it, it must be a dynamic. I can cannot put it here. So I, first I have to do is aggregate the data coming from my uh, SQL. So I have aggregation, so uh, tax aggregator, uh, and I know this is the format. So I have uh, put a JSON uh, array, uh, array uh, under the square bracket array. So this is ID uh, uh, noted by close by noted commas. So this is A B C D E F G. So it will go under. Uh, it will aggregate and it will give us the um, all of the results in my SQL and separated by a comma. You see that separated by a comma. So first result came. It will aggregate this one, then put a comma, and then this one. After the all of the result aggregate, these results will come here after this comma and this will be the result where it will all goes so all of them have the same format it's separated by comma under under this square bracket so this means one row and so on for the other one tax coming and this is so on so forth as as much rows as are coming from it, uh, my sql so if i click on ok so i actually make a test you can see that uh, uh, it has multiple the records coming from my SQL which is 373 records so if I don't have this action uh, it will take 373 operations so right now it takes months and send data to a sheet okay which is this one you can see 373 records 373 records first one is the column so by doing this you can save your operations it can be applied to any of the results uh, you have not only specific to this actually the purpose of this is to save your operations on your uh, make so that it will not cost an extra, extra operation for you let me know if you have any questions subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know what issues do you have and uh, Thank you very much.